we did just relaunch the Wild Kingdom show. Kind of that's what started it all. If you think of right. our brand and name recognition, we just relaunched that television program last Saturday. It'll show every Saturday morning on NBC at 830 Central. So it's, it's really cool. And again, I'll, I mean, what's great about it is that's just keeping our name out sure. there. And that makes it that much easier for our producers and, and our distribution partners to work with folks. Because no one's going to say who's Mutual of Omaha. All right, folks, let me tell you right now, this is monumental. Let me tell you why. This is episode one of No Fluff with Donnie Fransco. Now, I don't know if there's ever going to be an episode two. The good chances there's not, but it's not, be, it's not because of me. Because I know the talent that is here, and I know the quality of entertainment that comes from this side of the table. If there is no second episode of No Fluff with Donnie Fransco, it's going to be because my guest today falls short. So... <laughs> David Neal from Mutual of Omaha is here today. David, first question. Number one, thanks for being here. Thank you. How does it feel? Is there any pressure that you literally, it's, you could tank this entire series. I could. I could. What do you think your chance, what, is there a chance for an episode two of No I, Fluff with well, Donnie Well, first Francis? of all, thank you for having me. I did not know that this was episode number one. I just and made so it now, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, so now, you know. <laughs> The pressure is on. And uh, yeah, I hope I hope there'll be a, a second episode. I, I don't think I'll be on it. But for your sake, I hope we can get through this. Right. Good. Well, you just got to watch your language. All right. I do my best. <laughs> my mom prays for me daily. Does she? And because of that, I think I've got a good chance at making it through. I like so, it. I like it. You know, a lot of times we'll do something like this. We'll jump right into product, talk about that. But I wanted to change it up a bit. Thought it'd be fun to find out about David Neal. Because the reality is, we all know who Mutual of Omaha is. We're familiar with a lot of the products. However, what's exciting is just uh, what we've talked about about 30, 40 minutes ago, is there are a lot of new changes with Mutual of Omaha's products that we are going to get into. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, these people at home want to know, who is this guy that's talking to me? So I'm going to hit you with a couple questions. Right. Number one, number one, top album all time. Any genre, any music genre, if you could take one record on a desert island, which one are you going to bring? Something from your childhood, something recent. Mm -hmm. Do you have the answer? Or is it something I do. He, I do. He's got the uh, answer. All right, let's hear. Uh, the Clash, London Calling, double album. Whoa. Yeah. So you, you familiar? I am familiar. Yeah. However, it was way before my time. You <laughs> see, I'm a youngster. Yeah. Uh, uh, we were talking about age earlier. No, I yep. do know the clash. Yep. So have you seen the clash live? There's a question. I have not. They were, they, you know, they broke up quite a while ago. They were doing some touring in the early eighties. I missed them. Didn't get I'm bummed out that I missed them. Okay. Let's talk. What was, your, what was your first concert you ever went to? Oh my gosh. Uh, first like actual concert concert in, in an arena would have been, uh, 1978 and it was Boston the band Boston and, and the next Boston. year, 1979, I can't believe I'm remembering this. It was rush. Oh, what a great yeah, year yeah. to see rush too. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I was born in 1978, okay. by the way. Yeah. So you I, weren't I there. Know. You weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I was not there, but um, interestingly enough, I'm a big fan of the band Striper. Remember yeah. Striper? Oh, yeah. So yeah. Michael Sweet from Striper actually was singing for Boston Oh. Um, on tour recently. Okay. And then now he was just on tour with Striper again. I didn't Brian's even know probably that a big Striper I, fan. I'm I, not sure. I didn't even know there was Brian, still... you know Striper? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> they just played in my hometown, Classic. a small theater. Oh, it's, it's, there you it's, go. I love that kind of music. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're done with music. How about food? <sighs> Favorite foods? Favorite foods. Uh, you know, I got to go with, um, it's nothing too exciting. I got to go with just pasta in general, Italian. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love Mexican food and then uh, pizza. I mean, I love it. I, I I've never had a pizza I don't like. Now, are you Italian? Are you, what, what is no, your yeah, can't, You can't you tell? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm from, I'm a, a, actually Sicilian. No, <laughs> I am, I am not Italian. I just like Italian food. I've been to Italy, but that doesn't make me Italian. Everybody thinks I'm Spanish or Italian. Happens yeah. a lot. I'm not. You're you know, not Italian. Love, I'm not, no. Oh. But I love Italian food too. Okay. Yeah. One of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Yeah. Right, let me think, what, what else can we find out about David Neal? All right. You're trying to, you're trying to tri trip me up here. No, so we're having fun. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, all right. We're, I'm tripping know, we're gonna... myself up. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
these microphones cost fifty thousand dollars <laughs> each, and uh, it's okay. Mutual of can afford it. There you go. But I uh, just wanted to chat about some fun things. Yeah. So we we talked about some music, talked about food. Favorite movie? Oh gosh, now this one. I mean, comedy, drama, whatever. If you could pick one movie uh, to take with you, what would it be? Ah, geez. Um, <laughs> Animal House. <laughs> really? Okay. No, I mean, it comes to mind, it's, but, it's a good but, one. but I, that's not, yeah. Uh, I'll think about it. It's Belushi, right? It's uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, uh, on my next uh, appearance, I'll, gi- I'll give you a drama. Okay. That's, a com- that's my comedy pick. So I kind of like Shawshank. You ever see Shawshank? Shawshank Redemption. Such if a I, good movie. If I had given it more thought, I would have gone with that probably. You think but, so? It's, I mean, it's, it's such a great. good movie. It's great. Yeah. I love the, the feel of that movie. Very good. Me too. Yeah. All right. One more thing. We talked about music. We talked about food. Talked about um, hobbies. hobbies. This is a big one. So if you weren't doing insurance and you had a free week, like you had Mutual of Omaha has given you three months off. Congratulations, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in those three months? What are your hobbies? What, what do you like to do? <sighs> Nothing all that exciting. Probably some golf uh, or trying to get better at golf, you know, playing a little bit of golf. I like to hike. Uh, I live in Colorado, so we do a lot of hiking and uh, uh, probably do some hiking, some trail running, um, nothing all that exciting. Just, just that, that kind of stuff, you know, spending time with my, my family as well, but you know, I'm not sure that's a hobby. That's or, no, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> so Breckenridge, have you been to Breckenridge? I have been to Breckenridge. Okay. Does the, you're okay with the elevation I'm getting. Well, I guess you live in Denver. So I live at 50, uh, 5,280 feet is the, uh, is the altitude of Denver proper. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm in the, if you go to Breckenridge, the village is probably around 8,500 or nine, but then of course the peaks around it go all the way up to 14,000. So yeah, I think I happened to stay somewhere that was right at 10,000. Like it was yeah. in Breckenridge, but then we went up a little farther to get to where the place was. Yeah. And it was tough for me. And if you're com- if you came straight from sea level, sea level oh, that tough. The, you'll you would even notice Denver. But if you go straight up into the in this case Breckenridge, you're gonna no- you're gonna notice that you need to acclimate. It it was tough. Yeah. Like I got sick. Yeah, you know, no, I think it's a normal thing. <clears throat> that's a form of altitude sickness. You just mm-hmm. get dizzy and and uh, you know don't feel good. And yeah. The humidity was zero percent. Zero. We have Zero. no humidity. What is yeah. wrong with that part of the, I need humidity. I love it. I hate humidity. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, all right. This is going downhill. The yeah. chances of episode two happening are I think so that's shot. Low. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's gone. <laughs> so you have seen the possibly the last episode of No <laughs> yeah. Fluff with Don Francisco. But speaking of No Fluff, let's get to why we're here today. So Mutual of Omaha, I'm not going to, you know, paint any corners. I know a lot of times maybe you have somebody in and you're talking to them and you're kind of schmooze them. Oh yeah, I really love the product. I love the company. First things first, Omaha, Mutual of Omaha, United of Omaha, huge brand recognition. Everybody knows who it is. Mm -hmm. And that's a big plus. But like I was telling you earlier, and I mean it with all my heart, if I'm limited with the carriers that I can have, Mutual of Omaha's Living Promise product, specifically for final expense, is one that has to be in my bag. Not yep. just because of the name recognition, that's the biggest plus, but because it's an actually great product, mm-hmm. easy to write, yep. competitively priced, yep. and even with new recent changes, is, the, is an even more uh, amazing animal, if you will, sure. of a product. So let's talk about uh, that, but before we do that, there's a big, exciting announcement that you wanted to tell the world. The world. The world. That is the distribution for this, right? The world. People are, millions of people are so watching right now. it will be subtitled for other it languages? It will be. It's, okay. it's already there. It's so. already done. It's actually, we already know what you're going to say. We've already typed okay. it. Okay. It's an AI thing, right? It's, of course. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, it's all kidding aside. Thanks, uh, thanks, Don, because yeah, this is just purely coincidental that it uh, that I'm sitting he- here with you today for episode one of, of of the podcast, and it is also the same day that we at Mutual of Omaha have just we just launched something we're really excited about. Uh, overall, what it is 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 it's a um, we've made some significant enhancements to our e app process. Okay, uh, 
the biggest part or one of the biggest parts is we now are allowing or have a text signature option. So in, a, in addition to the in-person signature option and then also uh, the email signature option, uh, which some frankly find a little bit cumbersome and clunky, uh, for those that had that experience, uh, we're very happy to announce that we now have a text, a third option, if you will, a text signature option. And that's on our e-app and that will be for not only Living Promise, it'll be for our um, IULE product, our Index Universal Life Express product, our Term Life Express product, and our Children's Whole Life. So we're, um, you know, we're super, it's going to be a game changer for us because thanks to you and everybody watching and listening, uh, you guys, you folks write a a ton of business with, with us and we thank you for that. Uh, but now with a more enhanced uh, and easier to use process, we're really excited by it. And it's not just the addition of the text signature option, if I may. It's also, we, we just streamline things. So there's about, there's quite a few less clicks, if you will, going through the process that are required. Some of those annoying pop-up windows, and I'm referring to the email signature option that is still available, but those no longer are going to be required. So uh, again, just launched it today at, I think, 2 a.m. Central time. So, uh, you know, we're really excited about it. It's going to really greatly improve, I think, we all think, uh, that sort of experience, not just for the for the producer, but also for the client that's interacting with that with the e app. So we're psyched about that. So it's it's announced that is it launched? It's active now. Uh, if I didn't say launch, I meant to say launch. Yeah. So it's active again. I think it was uh, not to be too specific, I think at 2 a.m. this central time this morning, it became available. And again, um, so there's nothing you need to do, nothing that our audience needs to do. Just uh, get into our e-app or electronic application, however you normally get to that. And uh, all of these changes have been built built in. And we're really, we're really excited about it. And it's just really strange that I get to share the news with the world and, and, and Donnie here. So oh, the distribution yeah, is yeah. just, uh, so maybe, I mean, given that this is going to tank episode one, I, <laughs> I, I, I hope our news, our process doesn't tank. You know, at least episode one of no fluff with Donnie Fransco was an epic one. And yeah. you got to say something exciting. If anybody hears anything, just hear that all kidding aside. We're super psyched. It's, it's going to, it's going to be a game changer. Awesome. That's yeah. exci- that is exciting. Yeah. yeah. So speaking about living promise, um, as far, I'm trying to think of, of what I've personally written of what we're going to talk about today, living promises, definitely number one. I've done some of the children's whole life as well. Yep. So I kind of like to group those together if we yep. could. Um, living promise has some changes. Yep. Uh, number one, fantastic. It is a fantastic final expense product. Right. It's not just because of the, what the, the, the limit, the limits in coverage, which have gone up a little teaser there, what you're going to say, yep. but it's competitively priced. You can go in, the clients remember Mutual of Omaha from the show. Right. The, 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 what was Wild it called? Kingdom. Wild Kingdom. Which, real quick, not to interrupt, go ahead. but in, in case I forget, we did just relaunch the Wild Kingdom show. Kind of, that's what started it all, if you think of right. our brand and name recognition. Uh, we just relaunched that television program uh, last Saturday. It'll show every uh, Saturday morning on NBC at 830 Central. So it's, it's really cool. And again, I'll, I mean, what's great about it is that's just keeping our name out sure. there. And that makes it that much easier for our producers and, and our distribution partners to work with folks. Because no one's going to say who's Mutual of Omaha. Right. Client right. retention is yeah. big. They're exactly. watching. They, ha- they know they have their policy. Yeah. In Mutual of Omaha. They're watching TV on Saturday morning. Yeah. Oh, that I will have that company. It, yeah. It does give a sense of comfort. Yeah. Uh, but the last thing I wanted to say about the not just the Living Promise, but all of your all of your policies is you actually send a really nice package out to the clients. Yep. In these days, especially this day and age, uh, I was speaking with a, a really good producer yesterday about how disappointed he is with some of these insurance carriers. What they send out to the clients is just sometimes nothing yeah, or very not cheap and yeah. it just doesn't look good. That's one thing I can say. You guys still send a, re- and you know, it's that big blue and white envelope. Yeah. Get a nice little folder with all your documents inside. So it, it definitely, um, and that's important. Yeah. It, People, especially maybe to somebody in the younger generation, maybe they're fine with having a document in, you know, somewhere in their email. Yeah. But at least the final, like my parents, they have a file folder and they have yep. their documents. Yeah. So living promise, let's talk about some changes 
that have happened. Yeah. With that so, product? uh, yeah, a couple, a couple of, I think significant changes to that product that were, um, that we, we made just, uh, within the last couple of months. So on the, and again, living promise is our final expense product. It's a kind of a plain vanilla whole life product, but it's a market leader because of the pricing advantage that we have. It's very, you know, price effective and, and low cost. But uh, as to the enhancements or improvement uh, uh, improvements on the level benefit plan, we increased the maximum amount of coverage uh, from 40,000 to 50,000. So that's cool. Across right? all age bands. Yep. So 40,000 to 50,000 on the level, on the level, on the level. plan, uh, the graded benefit plan still stays at uh, ma- the maximum uh, death benefit of 20,000. So that's that's a good thing on that increase from forty to fifty thousand on the level benefit plan. We also, speaking of the graded plan, we dropped the uh, diabetes um, uh, age from age uh, fifty to age forty five, which I think is a big help. And then we also uh, uh, marijuana is no longer considered an unlawful substance, and that's helpful for purposes of the application and sure. and underwriting. So those are you know, one's kind of process oriented and then the others are more product related. And I think it's, it's, those are, they're, those are going to be helpful. There's just more opportunities. Now, all that means is for the, the folks listening and, 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 and watching the uh, there's just more people that you can help now because of those enhancements. So, so when producers hear about product changes, I can tell you from personal experience, it's always cringy. Yeah. It's like, Oh no, now what? Yeah. This thing I'm comfortable with yeah. this thing that I love yeah. now what's happening the reality is these ones are all really good changes. Yeah, they're because not. Because it, yeah. it, it opens up more opportunities. So kudos to Mutual of Omaha for that. That's awesome. Yeah. The children's whole life, so many people, if they're not asking about it, they're not going to write it. Right. But it, it's a great product. Uh, I know for a fact that my children have it. Very good. Um, they do. Nicely done. Uh, I know. Nicely well, done. You know, take that money you promised me at lunch. <laughs> that kind of It'll help pay the premium. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> yeah, for the record, he did not. This this did not happen. There was no payoff. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Where were we? Where children's was, whole life. Children's whole yeah. life. Okay. See what happens. Yeah. I, I have yeah. this ADHD deal. I'm so, intimidating you. Aren't I? <laughs> you are. See this, this. I may start to tank my own uh, my own show here. So the children's whole life deal is great. Zero age fourteen days. Mm-hmm. Yep. Once a baby's fourteen days old, they can get the product Correct. up to age seventeen. Correct. And what I like, you can put six kids on one app. Yep. It makes it easy. You got a grandma in the home. You have any grandchildren? I've yep. got four. Hey, we can do one. And it's extra money. It's extra income for the cl- for the producer. It fills a need. A, yep. lot, a lot of times these clients, they want that. You know, my grandkids right. aren't covered. I want to do that. Sometimes they offer it. I want something for the grandkids. Right. Just another way to make some money. And I, um, oh, just real quick. About that. Yeah. The other thing that I, uh, you, all great things to talk about or highlights, if you will, of, of children's whole life, uh, whole life. And often it's a, uh, it doesn't have to be, but it's often a, an add on sale, if you will, maybe mm-hmm. to living promise, a final expense sale. But I think really one of the greatest features of that product is the guaranteed insurability rider, Huge. right? Automatically included and in, not to get into all the details of minutia, but as you know, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of folks that are, are watching and listening know the greatest thing about that is it a lot, you're basically giving you know, when that policy is issued, that child, you're locking in their insurability because the guaranteed insurability uh, rider at significant life events and also uh, different policy anniversaries gives them the ability to add additional coverage without any new evidence of insurability, without any new underwriting. So that's when we say, when we talk, well, I guess that's why it's called guaranteed insurability Mm -hmm. rider, but that's pretty cool, right? Because as that child issued, you know, whether it's 14 weeks or two years old or six years old. Um, of course, as they get older, uh, they could become sick or uninsurable. That rider handles that. So we, we, that's a, that's something that um, for those that are already selling children's whole life, you know that for those of you that aren't take a look at that. It's a big selling point. Awesome. So again, most of our distribution does final expense. So living promise children's <laughs> whole life, but there are two other products we want to chat about. Uh, we don't have to go into depth, right? but the, the IULE mm-hmm. and the uh, TLE, uh, definitely we want to chat a little bit about. Sure. So I'll let you, I'll, I don't know those products as well. Not, you know, no shame there, but yeah. this is why I'm here to be taught and the rest of us out there to be taught. 
No, thanks. And, and uh, yeah, so with respect to those two products, starting first with IULE, and IULE is um, an indexed universal life express product, and express is synonymous with simplified issue underwriting. So, um, which is, which is, we actually have three IUL products, uh, two fully underwritten products. Those would be really great for situations where you need, the client needs uh, higher coverage amounts, mm-hmm. higher death benefits. But with our IUL product uh, at younger issue ages, client uh, with simplified issue underwriting, the client can get up to $300,000 of coverage. Just high level stuff about IULE um, is right now, we're still the only carrier, I may not last very long, we're still the only carrier that has a truly simplified issue IUL product. So that's a, a big advantage for us. But I really urge uh, folks that haven't used that product or looked at that product to take a look because- you know, if you look at it as a, perhaps a term alternative, and this is nothing against Term Life Express, great product, competitively priced. We like, we write a lot of it and we're happy about that. Um, but IULE is a good alternative. Uh, we get a lot of questions from folks that are like, well, I haven't written it. I haven't written an IULE. I'm a little hesitant. There's a lot of moving parts, et cetera. Um, you know, and I always tell people those extra moving parts are are good thing not a bad thing a good thing not a bad thing and what i mean by that that's what makes the product so dynamic and so flexible so you can when when we have those producers then i talk to producers every day like like you do we have those producers that uh, are looking for a way to sell the product i give them an idea of say hey use it as a final expense alternative you can do that the pricing advantage to IULE, meaning the lower cost, is significant, will be surprising to many. And even uh, even more so with Term Life Express, especially Term Life Express with return or premium. The next, I don't care if it's mortgage term or what have you, just that scenario, that product, please take a look at IULE because, again, you're going to see a pricing advantage, a uh, lower cost for the IULE. And then also with the return, you know, as compared to TLE with return of premium, and then also all, all the other things you get, you get a permanent product as opposed to a term product. You get those cash values, which of course grow on a tax deferred basis. And uh, the client can then access that money uh, via policy loan loans on a, on a tax free basis. Uh, so tax deferred growth, tax free income, all the flexibility of the product, like I said, a permanent product. And the thing about index products that make it different than say a regular universal life product is that it is uh, the performance or the growth of those cash values is tied to an index. So there is the much greater upside potential Mm -hmm. for those cash values to grow that can be used in a lot of different ways. So it's our fastest selling product. I mean, we launched it now almost three years ago, I think it's hard to believe. Um, but for those of you that haven't taken a look at that product, I really urge you to do, to do that. And we, and we can help you, you know, walk through that product and help you with your first case and things like that. But I really encourage uh, you to take a look at that product. Yes, yeah, certainly yeah. will. Now it's a little bit stricter underwriting than the living promise. Correct. Good so, point. So yeah. if somebody is, so basically if you have somebody that's 55 years old, that has never taken a medicine, they're super healthy Instead of selling that living promise yep. for the same, I mean, we're not going to give exact quotes here because we don't right. have our calculators, but for right. the same premium, generally that IUL is going to give them a much larger death benefit. Yeah, that's a great, yeah. so yeah, great, great, um, great point to make, Don. And yeah, so I kind of gave a little bit more detail on using IULE as a TLE alternative, but to your point, using it as a final expense alternative it's simple. If again, the underwriters are a little t- underwriting is a little tougher on the uh, uh, compared to on the I will leave compared to living uh, promise. However, um, what the situation you have is kind of exactly what you said. Just just for fun, frankly, the next time you're uh, you know the people listening and and, and watching um, have a final expense scenario. Go ahead and run that quote. Take that. Take that same premium, whatever it is, you know, twenty, twenty, twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars, forty thousand dollars, now up to fifty thousand mm. dollars with final uh, with living promise. Find out what that premium is. Take that same premium and put it into an IULE, and like you said, you're going to get in most cases much higher death benefits and for the same cost, right? And then you have all the flexibility that I already talked about and things like that. So that's that's just that's just an idea. Uh, 
you know, in, in another way to use IULE. Sure. Yeah. So the TLE, the Term Life Express, is that, and this is ignorant speaking, is that a mortgage protection product or is that, where do you see that? Being Good question. Used? It's, I suppose it's, uh, we don't really track this, but I can just say just from just general knowledge, it, the, the way, uh, the scenario that it is sold most often in would be a mortgage protection scenario, okay. right? But, but it's a term insurance product. It's a life insurance product. So it could be yeah. used for just basic in income replacement, basic insurance needs, but certainly for, um, you know, the majority in, uh, of the business comes from that mortgage protection market. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So the last thing we want to get into is the bonus program that you have uh, for producers, which is big, you know, um, obviously good final expense producers are paid very well anyway, but they can earn extra with mutual of Omaha. How can they do that? That's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last but not least, right. Let's talk a little bit about money, right. And, yep. and, and compensation. So yeah, glad you, that, that you brought that up, Don. So in, um, in January of this year, beginning of this year, we launched our first ever producer bonus program. We call it the Four Quarters Club. Hopefully most of you guys, uh, most of you folks have already heard about it, but it's a it's pretty straightforward producer bonus program. It's a 10% bonus. There's, you, you, you get four opportunities to uh, qualify for that bonus. There's, so there's four separate qualification periods that nicely coincide with the four quarters of the calendar year. So let me give you an example. So in each quarter, um, once you hit, uh, once the producer hits a, uh, a minimum of $25,000 of placed business, uh, that, uh, that's premium. And I know that's not a small number, but again, it's a bonus. This is on top yeah. of all the other compensation yeah. and commissions the producer is, 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 is earning. Once you hit in each quarter, each one of the four uh, quarters or four qualification periods, um, once they hit that $25,000 minimum, they'll earn a 10% bonus that is uncapped. So the, the sooner you hit that 25,000 in each quarter, the better, yeah, yeah. right? Because it's a truly uncapped bonus. And there's other companies out there with, um, you know, bonus programs. Uh, uh, quite a few of them are paid annually. We think it's a little bit more compelling that that bonus is paid quarterly. And the other advantage we have with our bonus program is, it's not just available or in terms of eligible products, it's not just one or two products. It's our entire simplified issue product portfolio nice. plus our critical illness portfolio. So okay. lots of opportunities uh, uh, to earn that bonus. And we're, you know, we're through the third quarter now and into the fourth quarter and, and uh, we're sending out a lot of big checks uh, this week for those that qualified in the third quarter. So hopefully for everybody watching and listening, if you haven't already earned a bonus through that program. I sure hope you, I sure, sure hope you do. Even, I think even you could, earn I could bonus. do it. I know I could do it. <laughs> it's nice though, for you're bringing in a new agent, let's say right. in July, right. You know, that's halfway through the year. They wouldn't be able to do yeah. an annual. They probably wouldn't hit it, but right. for every quarter it starts over. Yeah. Last thing, uh, how much cash do you have in your wallet? Uh, probably about $20 and that's like $20 more than I normally have. <laughs> Can I physically see the 20? Because I'm going to have to stand. It's in my uh, briefcase. All right. Can you just make a pledge? Would you, if you knew that $20 was going towards hungry children, would you be happy to give that away? Oh, hundred percent. Okay. 100%. David, David and Ellie France go back in Vineland, New Jersey. They're hungry kids. They tell me every morning. So I'll take that 20 and make sure that they get fed. Folks, you've yes. seen it. Oh, no my gosh. Fluff with no. Donnie Fransco. <laughs> this is David Neal. David, take a bow. You did it. You did a great job. Hey, now it's all you, man. It's that's, all you. Yeah, that's right. It's that's all you. true. That's true. <laughs> Mutual of Omaha didn't hire him for nothing. He's sharp. <laughs> David, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Pleasure. Thank Been you, awesome. everybody. Yep. Bye-bye. 